Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make the applied energistic storage system that I just recently did in my full craft video. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can, so let's get started. What you're going to want to do, first thing, is you want to go mining. And you want to find blocks that look like this. This is Certus Quartz Ore. And you're going to mine a lot of this. I'm going to do that right now. And you can see I got, usually I got here, where's two Certus Quartz Crystals. And that's great, and you do need those, but what you're trying to find are two charged Certus Quartz Crystals. So basically mine a lot until you get two. Now, what we're going to do with one of those, of the two, is you're going to use one. So we're going to do that, and you put four iron around, and then you may get a meteorite compass. Okay, and that's the next thing we need to do. Is we need to use the meteorite compass to find the meteors because we need some things that are inside of those. Now, the way the meteor compass works is it shows you direction. You can see how it says something's this direction. And when you get over the place where the meteor is, it can be underground, so you may not see it on the overworld, but um, it will spin around in circles. So let me go into a creative mode so we can fly it in that direction. And we'll see what it says. You can see how it's going this way. I don't know how far. Little blip there. But it'll spin around in, in circles when you get over. See right there? See how it's spinning right there for a second? And now it's just pointing backwards. So somewhere right here in this chunk is where the, um, the meteor is. Okay? So let me see if I can find it, and I'll be right back. I didn't have to go down far. Looks like right here is the, uh, the meteor. It's made up of the sky stone. Now you can vein mine the sky stone, and that's cool. But inside of here is what we're really after right now. Okay? We're after this. If you can look here, you can see this thing right here. It's a chest. Okay? Let's see if I can get in here. And inside of here, you will typically find these type of things. They are inscriber somethings. Something press. Like silicon press, calculation press, and engineering press. And I think those are the three we actually need. So once you have those and you have one crystal, then we can get to the next step, which is creating what we need for the storage system. For the next part of this, I'm going to assume you have some sort of power source. Now you can get a coal generator very easy with the quests. You can go look in the quest system and look at that. And I have that over a capacitor. And I also add a couple extra furnace generators so that we can have a lot of power. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that you have this already set up. Okay, now a lot of the recipes that we will be using have this thing that they need called Fluix crystals. So if you look here, Fluix crystal looks like this. I just grabbed it. Let me uh, turn that off here. Fluix crystals look like this. And right here it says if you drop that charged Certus Quartz, a Nether Quartz, and a Redstone in a puddle, it'll make what you need. And it makes two crystals. Now you're going to use this right away. Because remember we have one extra charged Certus Quartz. So we'll put go into the water. I'll press the Q button to throw it out. I'll throw the Nether Quartz, and I'll throw the charged one. And if you watch, boom, they just changed. And now we have Fluix Crystals. See? And that's the basic recipe, so if you ever need to know how to make fluid crystals, come back to this point in the video and just watch that again. We just used up our last charged crystal, so we will need to make more. So this is how you do that. We need to make the charger. Okay, so go into the crafting table, take two fluid crystals and do that. And then with the iron, put it in that formation, and you get a charger. Now the charger then can you be used to charge the crystals. Now I'm going to put this on top of the, of the uh, generator right here. And you can see it says it contains 3K RF out of 3k RF. So now all you do is you take a crystal that's not charged, you put it in, and it will then change to charged. Okay? And you take it out. And see there we have a charged crystal. And that's very easy. And then if you need to, you can do the same technique we did and make the flux crystals. So now we should always have a, a, an abundant supply of charged crystals and flux crystals. Next, you're going to need to make two different components that we will use kind of frequently. First one is a sag mill. You can make that pretty quick, and you can look up how to make that. It's not part of this pack in particular. So, uh, but the other one you're going to do is you're going to make an inscriber. So what you're going to do is take over here to the carriage table. You're going to put in that formation, two sticky pistons and a flux or flux crystal, I mean. And you go like this, and there is the inscriber. And you're going to put that here as well. So now you have all these devices here. The sag mill, and really the sag mill is only used to grind things down, um, such as uh, nether quartz to make nether quartz dust and that sort of thing. And then you have this, which will make the patterns and things that we need, okay? So let's get to the next step. One of the first things we're going to need is the actual ME drive. It looks like a disk drive array. And we're going to make this. Now, if you look at the recipe here, it takes some iron. It takes these cables. We're not going to worry about the cables right here just yet. We will get to that. But then also we have to do these engineering processors. And if you look at this, if you click on it, you see it has three components, redstone, 
It has printed silicon and it has printed engineering circuits, okay? So printed silicon is just silicon in the inscriber. Uh, silicon press will make these and silicon you can get from the sag mill, which is why we made it, putting sand into the sag mill. Okay, so let's do that. You're going to put the sag, you put the uh, flint here and you're going to put the sand here and you'll see it process and then you'll see silicon, okay? Now I'm going to take some of this out right now. Now I want you to go over here to the inscriber and this is where you use the inscriber to make the parts that you want. See, so we have the inscriber silicon press. You put it in and it takes a little bit of time and it will make out the silicon, the printed silicon piece, see? Right there, you put another one. And these are used then for the various uh, other pieces, which you'll see in a little bit. So let me make up, I'm gonna make up seven of these. I think that's all you need minimum to get this started. I may be wrong, but um, go for at least seven or eight of these and you should be good. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to make the engineering um, circuits here. So what you're gonna take, see this is the engineering press. Go into the inscriber, put that in there, and you're gonna do two diamonds, okay? There we go. So you'll have two of these then, printed engineering circuits when you get done. Now make the final piece. And what you do is you go into your system here, your inscriber, you put one of those there, you put a redstone right in the center, and you put one of the uh, printed silicons together and it will make this piece right here. I can't remember the name of it. The engineering processor, and we need two of those, okay? So let's do that, and that, and that. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the cables. So what you do is you take in nether quartz, you put it into the sag mill. This will give you nether quartz dust. You need three of these. Okay, and here we go. Great. Now that you have the three, you go over into a crafting table, and what you can put in is you put six glass like that with the uh, nether quartz there, and you get quartz fiber. Okay, now take two flux crystals with the quartz fiber, and you get ME glass tables. Cables, excuse me. Now that we have that, now we have everything we need to make the ME drive. So you put just like that, and then four iron, and there's the drive. And that's the first piece of this puzzle that we're going to do. I'm going to put the drive right here, okay? Excellent. Now we're going to work on making one of the disks that goes into the drive, okay? So now what you want to put in here is you want to put a logic press and some gold, okay? And what that gives you is the printed logic circuit. Now, just like we did before, you're gonna put one of these uh, printed silicons, you're gonna put this here, and you're gonna put a piece of redstone, and there we have, it'll be a printed um, logic, I believe. Is that what it is? Logic processor, that's what we need there. Now, with that in place, we can go over here, and what you do is you go over here, and you put four Surtis crystals, and you put four redstone, just like that. And that makes a 1K ME storage component. Great. Now that goes into basically, basically that's like kind of like memory and now you're putting it in a case. So you build the case out. It's just like this and two quartz glass. And there we have an MKE or 1K ME storage cell. Okay. So you go over to your drive bay here and you just go right here and you right click on it. You get this menu and you can put various disks in here. Okay. So that's pretty easy. So you just make as many of those disks as you need using the procedure I just showed you. Next thing I want to do is I want to get power to this system. So what we're going to do, make is a device that takes the RF power and converts it into the power that this uses. It's called an energy acceptor. So we're going to do that right now. What it takes is it takes iron in the four corners, takes the quartz glass, which you've seen how to make with um, with the sag mill, and then you put a uh, flux crystal in the center and you make an energy acceptor. Now I'm going to put this right here on the back of this capacitor, so that's kind of where power is going. Okay, and then you take the cables. You know how to make those too. So put the cables all the way across here, and it goes into there. And I always put one on top, and I'll show you why in a second. But you can see the light on the drive is on. So this now has power. Okay, so the last thing we need to do here next is to make the actual terminal interface. The first thing we need is we actually make the actual screen itself. Okay, so go into here. You're going to take quartz glass in a section like that. Put glowstone dust here, redstone here and an iron there, and it gives you three screens or illuminated panels, I guess they're called, that you can use for uh, later parts, okay? That's pretty easy. Now, let's go out here in just a second. I wanna show you what else we're gonna do here with this, okay? We are making, the goal is to make the ME crafting terminal, and it didn't show me the recipe because I'm still in that mode. Okay, we'll do this again here. 
we're going to make the ME crafting terminal. And you can see here it takes this. And we'll come back to this. This is the last one I part I want to do. It takes a crafting table. That's easy. Everybody knows how to make that. So we're trying to do this ME terminal. Now we've made the screens. So what we need to do is we need to make another one of these logic processors, which we just did in the last few steps. We need to make a formation core and an annihilation core. Now these take Certus quartz crystals, flux, flux dust, and the logic processor for that one. And let's try to go back to the other one. So this is logic processor, right? Okay, and the other one takes nether. So this is nether quartz and one takes Certus quartz, okay? So let's go and make that right now. We need to have a bunch of these. Let me make those ahead of time and then I'll be right back. For this step, we're going to need Fluix dust. So go back in your sag mill and put those in there and you'll get dust out of it. Okay, here we go. One and two. That's pretty easy. There we go. All righty. Now go back over to um, the crafting table here. And what we need to do is you need to have those there. You have two of these processors here. We're going to use one of nether quartz, which gives you two annihilation cores, and one of the Certus crystal which gives you two of the formation cores. Make sense? Okay, so then we have our panel. We have, one, again, one of our logic processors, one formation core, and we have one of the annihilation cores, and that makes the ME terminal. Okay, so the only other piece we need, if you go back and we look here at the um, for this particular crafting panel, here we go. Oh, I did it again. I gotta remember to turn that off. Okay, so if we go back to this piece right here, and we look, you got a crafting table. We got this now. We need to get the calculation processor. Okay, and that's the next step. So, how do you get the calculation processor? We know how to do this part. We know how to do this. We got to get the printed calculation circuit. It is a calculation press with a pure Certus Quartz crystal. And that's the hard part. And this is what takes the most time. Drop a Certus Quartz seed made from Certus Quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water. Okay, so that's uh, pretty hard to do, and I'm going to show you that right now. To make the pure seed that you need, the pure Certus Quartz seed, go into the sag mill and throw in a Certus Quartz crystal, and it will make Certus Quartz, okay, dust. Now, take that and that together, and it will make two seeds. Now, you have to throw this in the water. It will not despawn. Now, this takes forever for it to uh, grow into a full seed. You would be here for quite a long time. Like if I go pick those up right now and look, you know, they've been in there for a little bit and it says here they are at 0%. Nothing's happened with them. You got to let them sit there and it takes a long time for them to grow. Now, what you can do is you can make, there are these, let me find it here. Where are they on the map? Uh, did, 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 I can't not find it now. There they are. Crystal growth accelerators. Now, if you feel inclined and you have the resources, you can make this, okay? It just takes cables, it takes quartz, glass, iron, and a flux block. And then you have to provide power from your system over to it. And it faces into the water and it kind of energizes it and makes it grow faster. But that is optional. It's just like if you have the resources and you want to speed it up, okay? So we'll wait for this to grow. And then what you'll have is you'll have pure sort of quartz crystal. Now that you have your pure crystal here, what you go into is go into the inscriber, put the calculation press in there and the crystal, and you will get the piece that you need right here. And there it is. It's the printed calculation circuit. Take that out. Put that back up there. Put the redstone in and put a printed silicon on, and you will get the part that you need right here. And we are just about done. And there we have the calculation processor. Pretty easy. Now back to the crafting table and let's build it right here. We've got our ME terminal, which we built, the crafting table, which you know how to do that, and the processor, and we have the ME crafting terminal. And then I like to just stick it right here. And there it is. And now we can access the drive. So when you open it up, you have your terminal window here. You can put things into it. Um, this lets you store all your items. This is your inventory down here. And you can bring things down and craft things here. It's very cool. So if I took out like some of this here, I can go in here and say, okay, put them in the storage. And it tells you how many you have. 34 of the coal and one of this particular piece. So that's how you do the storage system. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. I made some mistakes along the way in there, little uh, interface mistakes and things like that, but for the most part, it should be self-explanatory. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments, you put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Um, I learned this just yesterday, so if I make any mistakes, please forgive me. Um, I'm open to any suggestions you might have on how to improve this, but this should get anybody who's doing full craft and trying to get an automated storage, store, automated storage system uh, up and running. This is what I did to get it working. Okay, so if you like this video, please click the like button. Looking for lots of likes. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get the notifications. Also, I do a lot of streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tinker77live. So uh, if you see me get on there and you want to join us, please do. We have a lot of fun when we do streams. So I want to say thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.